just uh, turn it on to check out the um, isolated switches and the power. But okay, here we go. So we um, okay, so it's already actually on, but so we could flip it off and then flip it on and it should turn on or upset. Actually, oh, it was already okay. So now we turn it on. There we go. Both fans and spin up. That's sort of what I look for. Um, okay, so then it starts. Now we're gonna quickly just uh, main in the BIOS. So I'm gonna move down. Okay, so now it'll well, not the BIOS in the grub menu. So we're not gonna start in Windows because they were just check out. Okay, so now we're reading 8.5 volts. When it draws current, it uh, there is a voltage drop, of course, because it's 19 volts minus 0.5 volts, I guess, because it's probably drawing around 2 amps. So now we can check the current. Let's see. Oh, yeah, 1.5 amps, right? Okay. And we could switch this off, so it's going to redirect current flow through the capacitor, and let's see if it doesn't turn off. It remains on. So that's actually uh, some amount of time that there was no current flowing through the computer from the power supply, and the capacitor is... So that, that does work very nice. And we could turn on the charger if we wanted. So because that, that's the main switch to turn it off. So there, 14.9 Celsius volts. That's the voltage the in the battery right now. Oh, actually, uh, that is not the voltage in the battery. Battery is. Oh, no, yeah, that is the voltage in the battery. But the battery is connected to the charger right now because we could charge the battery even though the battery is disconnected from the power. But we could turn on the battery. Now the battery is on, but it still will read... 8.4 volts because we're still taking power from the main power supply unit. That's what the O-ring circuit does. But now, of course, we could do something like we could disconnect the power, and of course, it still stays on because we're running on battery. And if we look over here, 13.3 volts, approximately how much we have left in the uh, battery. And since it's drawing less voltage there, a little bit more current will be drawn, and that's what the power supply unit essentially does. Stable, uh, you know, it keep certain power. The the power it requires is sort of fixed. So right now it's running off battery, and I already ran it uh, an hour last night, more than an hour. I think it might run around two hours. But as you can see, this thing is still on, um, even though this is on. So if I turn this off, if I turn the computer off, power switch, the um, because with my O-ring circuit, this should actually turn off because there's no point wasting power with with this being on, while we're on battery, of course, because, you know, so I turn it off, there it turns off. But now, say you're in a position, hmm, I actually want to charge it, you know, the battery's still on. This, the computer still sees that, but now we want to charge it, so if we were to plug it in, computer stays off, but this is on. And now we could charge it with the computer being off, and then, of course, we could flip this off if we wanted to save some, save some current, but, or save some uh, power, but it's not really a big deal. But, well, looks like that pretty much works. Okay, let's reassemble it now. Um, I put the plastic, uh, my first layer of plastic um, plexiglass already, just because uh, that's annoying to put on one-handed. But Okay, so let's see. Now we've got, uh, this is on. We can basically put the um, second layer. Here we go. Some nuts here. This also might be tricky to do one handed, but we'll find out. Okay. It's in. It's in place. Now we could uh, put the um, wireless keyboard in. And line up. Everything lines up perfectly. Perfect fit. Now we'll grab the AC adapter. Put that in. And that also is perfect fit with no space to spare. <laughs> So now put the uh, 
computer back together, the homemade laptop here, basically just uh, together so we can't see all the wires, and this way people get freaked out, of course, in coffee shops and whatnot, and uh, this computer I have it, and that part, and it's pretty easy. Of course, this I won't have to always, this is going to from scratch normally, I will uh, normally both pieces of plastic will be on it anyway, so it won't really make a difference, but here we go. So this is how it'll be. Normally, at those these two pieces of plastic, of course, it won't take off. It'll just stay as it is, like this, and then I essentially just have my. Uh, Adapters, it's a whole unit of stitches There we go. Put that in. Perfect fit. Laptop, and then we can go around and use it just like normal. Should be good. All right, that's that's 